my weight loss journey and kind of like my fitness journey of how I lost over 20 pounds. Um, so I've been working out now. It's been over a year, but I lost all of the weight mainly within the first four or so months, I would say. Um, so I am just going to get right into it, but I had my son and after I had him, I was 134 pounds and then I got pregnant with my daughter. He was four months old. So I was pregnant with her for nine months, gained all that baby weight back, had my daughter and it didn't come off as easy as the first time. I think because it was twice. I had done it twice now. I had a, had a baby twice. What? After I had my daughter, um, I was 148 pounds when I first started all this journey. So the first thing that I started doing was I started doing a lot of cardio. So Isaiah's mom, they have like, um, like basically a full gym downstairs in their basement. And then they have a treadmill in the garage. So I would go over there every day, seven days a week. And I would run. So I would run for probably like 25 minutes. Um, yeah, I would just try to run the whole time. It would be around like a little over two miles. And I was doing that every single day. And then at this point, my diet was the same as it had been. Isaiah and I, we ate a lot of fast food. Um, we were always going to the drive through I ate basically whatever I wanted. I didn't think about what I was gonna be eating or if it was good for me or bad for me. So that's where I was at right there. And um, so I was doing excessive cardio and I was eating unhealthy. So, so next I stopped eating all fast food basically. So I was doing tons and tons of cardio, excessive cardio and, and I was um, barely eating. So I was doing all this cardio and then I was barely eating because I just wanted to be skinny. I wanted to be small, I wanted to lose the weight. Um, I didn't want to wait. Um, I wanted it to go fast. <laughs> So that's where I was at, barely eating, which is not good for you. I definitely do not recommend that because when you are trying to lose weight and you just do it really fast all at once, stop eating, doing tons of cardio, you'll lose the weight. And then if you go back to your old ways, you just gain all the weight right back. So it's kind of like, I was just like, okay, am I going to lose all this weight and am I going to start eating healthy or am I going to lose all this weight and then just go right back to what I was doing? So. Basically, I started lifting very light um, and like using resistance bands and stuff like that after I was doing my cardio. So I was doing my cardio still, trying to lose as much fat as I could. And then I was going downstairs into their little gym down there and I was lifting light weights and doing resistance band work. Um, so yeah, so then I started having, so after I was over like the barely eating thing i started eating but i was only eating healthy food so i was only eating like protein fruits veggies healthy fats things like that i wasn't having any sugar i stopped drinking pop which is a huge thing for me because i was a huge huge pop drinker so i don't drink pop i didn't eat any sugar any fats really like no ice cream no cake i was super restricting myself um, so like on days that I would, Isaiah and I would have like cheat meals. No, honey. Um, when I would have like a cheat meal, I would go crazy. I would eat so, so much. And then I would feel so guilty about just eating all those calories after I worked so hard to lose all that weight. I had a very, very clean diet. And that's when I started lifting heavy. So I started doing like free weights. Um, I was using like the barbell, stuff like that. Doing back squats, deadlifts hip thrust. I like the cable machine a lot. Um, doing like some leg extension, stuff like that. So I started lifting heavy and instead of like only all healthy foods, I feel like I have a pretty balanced diet right now. I feel like, um, like if I want something, if I really want it, I will have it. But I feel like after it's been a little over a year now. That I and, um, now honestly, I don't really crave fast foods or sweets too much but if i want it we will get it um so i don't restrict but after i've been trying to be healthy for so long i really just don't want that stuff anymore um and when i do eat it i feel kind of like lethargic i don't know if that's just me or if that's like something that fast food does to everyone i don't know but so now 
I'm around like 128 pounds. The smallest I was was like 125. So I'm around 128 pounds right now and I am lifting three days a week probably. And I eat healthy, balanced diet. And for me, that has kept the weight off. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any issues like gaining the weight back up and down with the scale um, since I started having a balanced diet. So if you are looking to lose fat, um, cardio, I definitely recommend cardio. And then you need to eat in a caloric deficient, which is, you know, you eat less calories than you burn throughout the day. And that is how you will get fat loss. So if you want fat loss, you just need to either do some cardio or lower your calories. And then I suggest like, if you're trying to, to build the muscle, you, I, I lost the fat first and then built the muscle, which is the way that I would recommend doing it. Um, that's just the way that I did it. That's the way I've seen other people do it like that. So once you lose the amount of fat that you want, that you're happy with, um, then, you know, you start lifting the weights and you start eating more. So calories, when you're trying to build muscle, they are not, a lot of people think that they are like so bad, but you need the calories. Like carbs are fuel. If you are trying to build muscle, you need carbs, you need protein, you need healthy fats. You need to be eating a lot. That's just what it is. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this gave you some kind of clarity on if you are struggling with weight loss or if you're trying to find a routine or anything like that, um, feel free to message me or DM me. Um, my Instagram name is always in the description of these videos. So if you have any questions or anything like that, just send me a DM and I will get back to you when I can. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Yay.